Disturbing new details were revealed today in a court hearing for the man charged in connection with Savannah Spurlock's disappearance. Evening Edition's Lee Searcy has that story. Savannah's father and close friends came to the Garrett County Courthouse for this morning's preliminary hearing. More than six months after she vanished, the man highlighted here leaving a Lexington bar with Savannah January 4th is the one charged with evidence tampering and abuse of a corpse. He's 23-year-old David Sparks. Police say he admitted taking Savannah back to his Lancaster home with two other men the night she disappeared, but claimed he woke up the next morning and she was gone. On the stand, police say they found Savannah's blood on his bedroom closet door and found her buried with a rug from his room, a rug they say he later replaced with a similar one. A KSP detective testified that Spurlock's remains were found in a 19-inch deep grave on David Sparks' parents' property. The detective could not say how or when she died. He's waiting on the medical examiner. Here's the detective describing what he saw last week when Savannah's remains were discovered after Sparks' own father reported a foul odor around his home. That body was uh, concealed within multiple black trash bags. The body was unclothed. The feet were bound with tape. The case is now headed to a grand jury. Sparks has pled not guilty to his charges. Savannah's loved ones and friends say it's time for justice. In Garrett County, Lee Searcy, Evening Edition. Spurlock's family announced plans for her public visitation this week. Her funeral and burial will be closed to only friends and family. The family will be hosting, however, a public memorial for her tomorrow night. That public visitation will be held Tuesday from 5 to 9 at the Oldham Roberts and Powell Funeral Home in Richmond. In lieu of flowers, the family asks for donations to the Aware Foundation or Lost and Missing.